Dear Governor Wilson, 25 years ago this month, you ran for re-election by stoking nativist fears about immigration. In 1994, you championed and helped pass Proposition 187, the Save Our State initiative. You said California had to be saved from my mom. From my dad. From my mother and father. You said California had to be saved from our neighbors, our friends, our families. You scapegoated immigrants like my mom and dad in order to secure re-election. And blame people who look like me. Who look like me for the economic problems that faced California. Sound familiar? Proposition 187 passed with 59% of the vote. And we were angry, but you woke up a sleeping giant. We immediately turned our attention to actually saving our state, one person at a time. One person at a time. I participated in my very first march. Now, I'm a part of a new leadership in California. I'm an immigrant and became a US citizen in the mid-90s all because of you. I organized a walkout with students in my high school. We realized the impact of our political power. I went door to door and registered voters in my neighborhood alongside my immigrant union members. Because of Proposition 187, I went to law school then came here to Sacramento. We, we are, are the, the first immigrant sisters in history to serve in the California State Legislature. My mother, a legal resident for over 20 years, became a U.S. citizen, registered to vote, and has voted in every election since then. Governor Wilson, 25 years ago this month, you spread fear about Latinos and immigrants in an attempt to secure a future for yourself and your party. Instead, you ignited a movement. More than a million Latino immigrants moved through the process of naturalization and voter registration. California Latino Legislative Caucus swelled to a record 29 members and five constitutional officers. We helped create super majorities in both houses of the legislature. We passed legislation to allow dreamers to go to college, graduate school, and even practice law. We've expanded worker protections and overtime to our farm workers and domestic workers. We have expanded health care rights to all young Californians, no matter their immigration status. Our work isn't done, but we want to say thank you, Governor Wilson. Now, on this 25th anniversary of Proposition 187, we have a roadmap for the entire country to follow. A roadmap on how to fight back against racist, xenophobic policies. And an opportunist leader, one person at a time. Thank you, Pete Wilson. Thank you, Pete Wilson. Thank you, Pete Wilson. Thank you, Pete Wilson. Oh, and happy anniversary.